Valentine's Day for you is either a super romantic day or a yearly reminder that you're forever alone. In any case, this video is for you. I'm Chuck Jose, and welcome to the 86 list. Like many couples on this day, my girlfriend and I decided to go out and spend our afternoon in the city, more specifically, the San Francisco Ferry Building. Look how disgustingly cute she is eating bread with olive oil. It's even got some pricey mushrooms for your rich cats out there. We made our way to the Prather Ranch Meat Company's eatery to grab a couple of burgers. A future topic for sure I'll make an episode about, but for now, just take a look at these bad boys. Gooey with cheese and perfectly seasoned dry aged beef with a delicious bun to boot. Amazing. But let's get back to my main point. It's easy to hate on the chocolate company's second most lucrative day behind Halloween, or the one day where PDA is at its all time high. It's easy to band together and become activists for all single people around the world. But lest we forget the most important celebration of February 14th, the celebration of love. February 14th is also the date of the annual Great San Francisco Valentine's Day Pillow Fight, or as it's commonly known, the GSF VDPF, or the Casivitipivitipivitipivit. Bring a pillow or buy one off the several vendors nearby and get ready as the entire Justin Herman Plaza will become Feather Geddon. So many feathers flying in the air, you'd be lucky to escape without one hiding somewhere in your hair. Is that a Nicolas Cage pillowcase? As I was filming this, I wondered, how could something so physical be so happy and fun? I mean, you're whacking people with an object. Someone's gonna get their feelings hurt, right? On the contrary. The energy I felt was electrifying. Not a frown was seen. If I had a camera on me, you would have seen a big grin stretched across my face. As America's funniest home videos have proven, it's fun to surprise people with something they weren't expecting. In this case, it could mean a random love tap on the butt or a smack on the side. The mere thought of a complete stranger hitting you with a pillow is rather satisfying because they could have picked anybody else, but they decided to pick you. I want to share this beautiful moment with you even for just a second and tell you thanks for being a part of this with me. Now get ready to be covered with feathers. That's love right there. You don't have to be with someone to love. Love yourself. Love your neighbor. Even love your strange relative who you've been trying to reach but still doesn't return your calls and even though you called a million times and left a million messages, each with a different accent to spice things up a bit, they still won't call. And 
as I was reminded from this fantastic event, love your city, because there's bound to be someone in it willing to love you right back. Alright, what's next on my list? <laughs>